This is Jeffrey Neal with another quick killer marketing report. This one is about how social media connections between consumers and brands can inspire sales. But understanding how is key. Now this is what I mean. Okay, we're all here online and we know about Facebook and social media is all the buzz with the topic of return on investment with social media participation seeming to polarize many within marketing, advertising, and PR. But in the end, what we need to do is have our brands connect with our ideal consumers with needs that we can fill. This is how ultimately how Facebook best serves our brands. But the question is, are we really doing this and doing it properly? I was going over some work in my own mind when I came across a study that really crystallizes this and brings up some things that I wanted to point out. This is what we need to be looking at when bringing prospects to your brand or product on Facebook. First, it's about the customers. You want to have contact with them and be able to form relationships with them and social media gives you clear avenues to do this. It's about the connections that you make with customers far more than having an outright ROI machine. These connections make more customers through referrals and advocates for your brand and its products or services. It's about relationships. You want to get to know your customers and form relationships with them and not be a one night stand. The value that companies get from investment in social media is directly tied to the relationships they build with customers and a relevant community. And you can also learn a lot more about what consumers are thinking about your brand and changes that you can make within your products and services to increase conversions on your products. It's about ROI cost savings. Using the right and integrated social media, using the right processes to create efficiencies often translate into better, faster, and more useful information for customers that result in cost savings because they better understand your place within the marketplace and how you will best serve them, ultimately ending in even more sales through easier and higher conversions. Measure what matters. The better connections your prospects have with your product or brand, the more likely those consumers will reach the tipping point to make a buy. This is how you will increase end ROI. And finally, it's about inspiration and influence. Remember, in the end, you want to both inspire and influence your prospects so that you have motivated them to make the right decision. You want them to take action, and this will get prospects to take faster, more decisive action. And who doesn't want to sell more products more often and more quickly? Don't believe it? Let's take a look at a few real-life examples. USA Today. Coca-Cola Facebook fans are two times as likely to consume product and ten times more likely to purchase than non-fans, according to Wendy Clark, Senior Vice President of Integrated Marketing. Yahoo reports brands who sponsored content with social media features increased purchase intent by 13%. eMarketer, a study they did, shows that over 50% of Twitter followers are much more likely to purchase from brands they follow. So in the end, take a look at implementing these plans within your social media campaigns so that you can get the highest returns possible.